rather simple one. Um, guys, we're probably not gonna, you know, I just really want you guys to kind of look at this. And this is a really bad letter, but, um, oops. Okay, so we have 270 degrees is less than something I've never seen before, which is less than 360. So we haven't used the symbol yet, so should we just say we don't know what the symbol is, so we don't know how to do it, and we should just like leave it blank and skip it? Yes. Probably, it's like a good idea, right? Or we should say, hey, it's this unknown symbol we haven't seen, but it looks like it should probably represent an unknown value. Yes, maybe? Okay, so, and yes, this actually is phi, it's another it's a, just another Greek alphabet um, letter that's going to represent a variable, and it represents an unknown angle. So again, my, guys, our goal right now is to represent our angle, or our triangle, in the correct quadrant, or identify the quadrant that our angle is going to lie in. OK? So understanding our standard form, what we practiced last class period, hopefully we know that here's 90, 180, 270, 360, right? So phi is some angle somewhere in that quadrant. Agreed? But how do we write a triangle like that? Isn't that kind of like we can't do a triangle that that's too big of an angle, right? But do we have a triangle that's in the fourth quadrant that we can create? So we know that's in the fourth quadrant. And then we're just going to create our triangle like this. And again, next class period I'll kind of elaborate a little bit more on the use of like on the use of what this angle is and how this relates to that angle. Okay, because technically, now again, like what is this angle technically? The reference angle, right? Now we could, we're not going to always use it as a reference angle. We might call it something else, right? But I want you guys to kind of see how that works in that case. Okay? So just like I did, I'm going to 